Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Joe Lee Farms in Ecuador. We're Joe and Lisa. Glad you joined us today. What a beautiful day. Sun is shining, not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, it's pretty blue up there. A little bit windy, but we're hoping that, you know, it'll heat up today and then it'll rain tonight. Hope so. We could use a little. We could use a little rain. Hey, so we wanted to talk to you today, but before we get started, if you could just check, make sure you're still subscribed. YouTube has a way of unsubscribing our subscribers. They've unsubscribed Lisa a couple times. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what it is they got against her, but they do it. Um, so yeah, if you could just check and make sure. We've had a lot of people tell us, hey, you know what, you're right. We were unsubscribed, we didn't know it. Lots of folks tell us they don't get notifications even though they've noti you know, clicked the notification bell. So uh, just check and make sure and uh, you're, that you're still subscribed and hopefully you'll get them. Yeah, one, one thing to note is if you're not getting notified that we put out a video every week, we do put out a video at least every week. Yeah, usually two to three videos a week. Yeah. Um, we like to do two long form contents and maybe one short. And so, um, yeah, so yeah, we have people in town tell us all the time, aren't you still making any videos? Yeah. Yeah, you've been unsubscribed. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, so let's got that out of the way. Let's talk about what we're here about. So um, we have a little preschool here in town, mm -hmm. and it is called the Antonio Jose Pina Selly. Selly. Antonio Jose Pina Selly. That's, That's a mouthful. A mouthful. <laughs> yeah. Everybody here has four names. So um, yeah, so this is a great little preschool. It is a public school. So mm -hmm. it's actually, I guess, owned by the province of Loja. And it has a couple of two or three teachers there. Um, just very, very sweet people. And the problem is, is that these kids have wonderful classrooms. Yeah, it's and, beautiful. Just a do yeah. adorable school. I think it's the cutest one in town. Yeah. And so they have this big concrete slab area that the kids play on. The problem here in Ecuador is that the sun can be brutal. Really intense, especially in the dry season. You don't go out with some kind of covering to protect you from the sun. And then we have, of course, the rainy season. Then it's, it's raining too all the time. Wet. <laughs> so the kids are being blasted one way or the other. Yeah. They have a nice little playground area down in the grass with seesaws and swings. But, you know, sometimes that's just too muddy for them to go down into. So um, they need protection from the sun and protection from the rain. Mm -hmm. To put a roof over this thing, which is what we want to do, it's a huge area. It's going to take an L, it's an L shaped slab. So it's going to take a roof that is pitched like this on one side, the long side, then the other side coming in is going to be pitched that way. So there'll be a long gutter, which will take all of that water out into the street. Mm -hmm. We have an architect involved who's made all the plans and designed all this. You'll see the plans up here on the screen. And he's also uh, put the materials list together, put it out for bid, got the pricing back, um, labor and uh, material both. This project's going to cost just a little over $10,000. So it could come in less, but that's the estimate. Yeah. So we think it's going to be there. It's a lot of metal. It's a lot of metal. Yeah, but the foundation is in the preschool, and those kids need a good foundation to make it through those bigger schools. And we think these little kiddos are just as important as any others. And I'll just tell you, this is a project that benefits the entire community. Mm -hmm. Both foreigners and locals have kids that go to this preschool. Yeah. So um, it's, a, it's a great project, and we hope that you'll participate. Now, one of the things that we can do, she has gone to the Banco de Loja. We've set up an account there um, for this project only. Specific for this project. Specific for this project. So the money will go into that Banco de Loja account. You can wire money to there. Um, it is a, what do they call it, level one bank or whatever. Oh. Anyway, it's an international bank, so mm -hmm. um, they always go through an intermediary bank when you do that, which is usually a city bank. Anyhow, that US. can be done, so you can yeah. wire money to it. If you're here in town, you can give them cash, um, you can give them a check, whatever you want to do. If you need another way to be able to participate in this, I would suggest that you either email uh, WhatsApp, text, or um, call Aura Via at the Happy Office. 
you folks know Ida from some of our previous videos. Mm -hmm. um, they have a local office there. They teach Spanish. They do real estate rentals. They do legal work. Translation. Um, translation. Anything you need, just give Aura a call. She will help you out. She will. Help. I have people come to me all the time and say, boy, I'm so glad I watched your video on the Happy Office because, yeah. you know, Aura helped me find a place to live and I'm taking Spanish from her. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's a real benefit. So Ida has a child that goes there, sweet little girl. And so we want to make sure that we can help with this. If you need some other way of getting money here to be able to participate, contact Ida. If you have any questions about this, please contact Outer. We we can't really answer your questions on any of that. Well, yeah, we're just doing the videography and and supporting them, but we we're not involved in the fundraising or anything else, any other part of this. That's exactly right. And so we want to help as much as we can, but those kind of questions, it's better to just go straight to her. Her yeah. English is perfect. Yes. So you won't have a hard time at all understanding her. And these little kiddos, man, they are so cute. Uh, you, your heart will melt when you see them playing. It's just incredible. <laughs> they are adorable. So years ago, you know, we had a friend who was doing missionary work down here long before we ever moved here. Yeah. And she made the statement to us that they want to buy a laptop for every kid in Ecuador. And at the time, Lisa and I kind of went, uh. mm -hmm. And so now that we've lived here, we know that that was not a good plan. The needs here are much more basic. We work with the Vilcabamba Community Kitchen because we know they're providing those basic needs, mm -hmm. especially to single mothers. Um, this project here is providing the basic need of shelter. Mm -hmm. And so this is important. The sun here is so brutal and the rain, it rain, sometimes it rains every day for a week. It can rain every day for a week and it just, you don't want to get out in it because it's a little bit cooler, but when it's hot, boy, is it really intense. Boy, is it hot, yeah. Hot and humid. Mm -hmm. So um, this is one of those projects that is a basic need, and we think this goes a lot farther. If we have any money left over on this project, it'll go toward uh, supplies for the kids. For this you know, school. For this school only. Yeah. And it'll be supplies like, you know, it could be play mats, you know, it could be uh, uh, classroom materials, so it could be any of that. And we really don't want to raise more than what the need is, maybe a little bit just to buffer it, but that's it. I mean, it's just for this one project. And we really don't like projects that go on and on and on. This is a set time frame. They have one set ob objective of this, and they just really need to help the kids. Yeah, so we think this is going to be a great thing. Our role in this is just simply to do the videography, as Lisa yeah. said, and offer that kind of support. We're going to come back and give you pictures and video oh, yeah. of the progress as it goes. We'll keep you appraised at where we are money-wise, because the project can't start till we have all the money. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want to get halfway in this and have to quit, because that'll make it worse than when we started. True. So we want to make sure we have enough money to complete the project before we get it going. And uh, so we're going to keep you updated on the whole thing and exactly where we're at. When we reach our goal, we'll let you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you're coming to Vilcabamba, you want to bring cash, go by the happy office and Outa or Erica there can help you with that. That's right. Make sure it gets deposited in the Banco de Loja. And so we'll make that happen. Yeah. All right. Ciao for now.